very interesting. I was, I just had Judson. I was like five months postpartum. There was a whole lot of emotions. It was my first time coming in. I almost backed out quite you a like few times. Sit in the driveway. I did. I sat in the driveway and I cried a How, lot. <laughs> what What made you come in the door? I had to force myself. I knew that this was something that I wanted to do. I didn't need to back out. It was something that I had really thought about. And the more I kept trying to talk myself out of it, negative voice in my head going, they're, they're not going to turn out good. You're not pretty. It's not going to be like, it's just going to be awkward. Talking myself going, you've worked hard for this. This was one of your goals. You wanted to push yourself out of your comfort zone. That was one of the biggest things is that I wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone and do something that I originally would have never done before. That's awesome. And, and you did. did you know? And then I did it, and now I'm hooked. And <laughs> <laughs> and you've done this how many times now? I have done three sessions, and then the group, I was insanely nervous. The first time. Like, yes. I was, I was just proud of you for being in the room. Like, to have gotten out of the car gotten oh, here, yeah. <laughs> and to have gotten that far, I was already like, okay. I know yeah. that you are talking yourself out of it and into it at the same time. Yeah. And then how did you feel after? I came, came back, back like a week and a half later. Mm -hmm. And when I, I, I cried again once I saw my pictures, because it was hard. I just had my second baby right. that was not planned. So like right. I had a lot of frustrations from that. I was extremely sick. And so, going through a lot of, you know, body changes, seeing myself and seeing the confidence that I have, I remember, like, one of the first things that went through my head was, like, damn, I should have gotten completely naked. And, like, <laughs> I didn't because, I don't know, maybe I was still a little bit prudish, like, not prudish, but insecure. Right. But as soon as I finished that session, I was like, all right, I'm ready to go. Like, can we can we do it again? Can I do more? Round two. And I think that is what sparked my intense interest in lingerie. And so now I have, like, dozens of boards and shopping carts that I'm constantly sending. Sorry for your yeah. credit yeah, card. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> so. but let, let's talk about this newfound uh, lingerie addiction yeah, that has so. fueled our client closet. It's, uh, <laughs> We had a we have a reel. Um, I think it was also a TikTok. I'm not it sure if you made it to a TikTok it still too, is. but yeah, that was one of our more popular videos up until recently oh of no. me oh angrily no. oh emptying no. out an endless I'm, amount I'm not of lingerie. For that at all. As you should not. So, <laughs> so for those who don't know, the culprit behind culprit. that was <laughs> Tiffany. It's me. Thank I'll, you. I'll admit that. Rachel, in all of her infinite wisdom, was like, hey, I'm super busy right now, and I need to get some lingerie. Do you have any ideas and thoughts? And apparently, you've had it all and ready she's to like, go. Oh, yeah. no, I got you. Yeah. And Here. So, I said, hold my drink. 